Hello dear all, my name is Fatih, I am a PhD student in Turkey. Today I will mention about my research study, which is the mitigating of the floating wind turbine structural motions. Uh, in the scope of this study, I will mention about three different uh, methods. The first one is the tunnel mass damper, the other one is the tunnel liquid damper, and the last one is the tunnel liquid column damper. When we look at the tunnel mass damper, I think you can see this uh, figure. And the tunnel mass damper is cons consisted of a mass that is connected to main structure by a spring and a dashboard. And generally, when we would like to use this tunnel mass damper, the single tunnel mass damper uh, is not effective uh, on the floating wind turbine system. Therefore, we have to use the multi tunnel mass damper. When we when we use the multi tunnel mass damper system. These uh, systems has to be connected to each other. Therefore, we have to use the active control system. But in the general, uh, in the behind of the structural motion of the floating wind turbine system, the passive methods are more suitable uh, than the uh, active control system. And also, when we would like to turn the liquid column damper in here. Uh, generally, they are commonly adopted for the mitigating the structural motion of wind turbines. Tunnel liquid column damper is composed of the U shaped, as we can see from the here. Also, we can uh, design this tunnel liquid column damper uh, with the different shapes. And generally, the tunnel mass damper is used on the NASA, but the tunnel liquid column damper can be used in the end part of the wind turbine system. So finally, when we compare the tunnel mass damper and the tunnel liquid column damper or the tunnel liquid column damper, the use of the tunnel liquid column damper is more suitable and because of the damping of the earth face plate and the gravitational of steering force from the liquid. Also, the geometries and the liquid step can be changed to obtain the better performance under different scenarios of floating wind turbines. All methods are required detailed information and calculation for the harsher and ununiform sea condition. As a result of this study, tunnel liquid column damper can be more suitable method, while tunnel mass damper is the oldest and most well known idea among the three motions. Thanks for your listenings and thanks for your participations. Have a good day.